Beats Fit Pro, just released today, November 1st, my birthday. Support spatial audio, Dolby Atmos, and active noise cancellation. So they're built with a flexible wing tip and Apple H1 chip. They've got six hours of battery life, plus an additional 21 with the charging case. There's so much to talk about with these headphones, but before we do, we need to take them out of the box. Let's do it. We've got the Stone Purple Beats Fit Pro. They also come in sage gray, black, and white. Carrying case right on top, open it up, earbuds already inside. Underneath, we've got our different size ear tips. Yep. We've got our USB-C to USB-C charging cable, as well as a nice Beats sticker. Stick that, that in your laptop. All right, I'll do that later. In terms of where these fall on the current Beats earbud lineup, we've got the Power Beats Pro released last summer, 2020. Good for working out, but as you can see by the box, you know, they've got these massive wing tips. I mean, they're, right. they're not even wing tips, they're more like just wings that go over your ear. Hooks. Hooks, and not the most comfortable. No, I didn't think they were. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the Beats Studio Buds, which are pretty similar, but they're not really made for working out. Right. I actually brought these to the gym once, and they kept falling out of my ears because they don't have this ear tip, and right. I, I need that for my ears for the extra ear stability. These are less expensive than the Beats Fit Pro. Yep. The Power Beats Pro were $249. Now you can get them on Apple for $199. $199. I also want to point out that I really like the size of this case. Easily fits into your pocket. I'm like the, the Power Beats Pro case, which is just, I mean, it's gigantic. You need a case for the case. You need a, you need a carrying case for the case right. itself. And when we look at the Beats Studio Buds, also a nice small case. Nice small case, yep. yep. Although Beats is owned by Apple, they've spent a lot of time making sure it's just as easy to set up these earbuds on an Android as it is on an iPhone. Right. We're gonna start with an iPhone. Let's walk through that setup process now. Sure. All right, I'm just gonna open the case, put it next to my phone. Boom. Beats Fit Pro. If I connect. can make one minor criticism here, I wish it was the same color. I wonder if they'll do that when they actually roll it out. It probably. We're actually doing this uh, before November 1st. Come 75% charged, that's always nice. So we should try that ear, ear tip fit test, yep. right? Let's go to the settings app. All right. And then right there, ear tip fit test. Interesting. Continue. And you'll know you have a good seal when it says good seal. As we mentioned earlier, Beats has done a lot of work to make it just as easy to connect the Beats Fit Pro to an Android as it is to an iPhone. The Beats app for Android, open that up and tap on this little menu upper left-hand corner of the screen, then tap add new Beats. Open up the case. Press and hold the little button there in between the headphones. Beats Fit Pro discovered. It looks a lot like the iPhone settings app now. Ear tip fit test again, let's tap on that. Tap continue, tap play, good fit. Give me a call, David. I think I'll pick it up. This is a test of the Beats Fit Pro microphone. In terms of microphone quality, I mean, they sound, you know, kind of like a standard Bluetooth headset. Yeah. It's all about clarity. You're not going to be able to record your next album with these. <laughs> Uh, earbuds is not meant for that. It's meant to sound clear. It does sound clear. Anytime we review a new pair of headphones, we have the same exact test. We want a one-to-one -one comparison of any pair of headphones that we test. So we're going to listen to those eight tracks and take our notes and we'll reconvene. So let's, let's talk about, you know, we listened to the same eight tracks. What, what for you didn't sound great? Well, for me, it was boomy bass. With stereo tracks, even though we're listening at very, very high quality, if it's not designed for Dolby Atmos, mm -hmm. I don't know that it's necessarily worth it. I think that the head tracking spatial audio, it's a cool feature, and I, I think it's, there There are some songs where I think it actually improves the experience. Listening to Starman by David Bowie and being able to turn your head and you kind of get that, sure. get that space feeling, it's cool. But I think it's more of a gimmick than anything else. I can't see myself using it regularly. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree that the bass is a little, little aggressive, but I kind of like that, especially I'm thinking of these primarily as like a workout headphone where they're in your ear, they're stable, you know, you're gonna do all your exercises, they're not going anywhere. And just having that bass, it's a strong bass, I feel like it's good for working out. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about noise cancellation. What did you think? I thought it was okay. When I, when I have active noise cancellation on and I'm listening to a song at like, you know, 70 decibels, I can't hear anything, which is, which is great. Mm -hmm. However, if it's lower than that, or if you know, you're know you in between songs, you can definitely hear noise outside coming through. Yeah, so these came with silicone tips, which are just not as good at passive noise cancellation, or AKA sticking stuff into your ears, as the foam tips are. Right. But the active noise cancellation for me wasn't the best. I thought that in this room, which is very quiet, having the noise cancellation turned off actually sounded a little bit quieter than if the noise cancellation was turned on, which hmm. doesn't make a lot of sense, but it does because there's just a little 
that that's in there right. with the active noise cancellation. In terms of comfort, and I, th I think this is the thing that really separates these headphones for me is just how comfortable they are with the wingtip. I've had trouble with you know earbuds that don't have wingtips; they just don't fit in my ears well. Mm -hmm. I've had trouble with the excessively large wingtips where it starts to hurt your ear, and this is just it's just the perfect balance. I typically like the ones that just go in your ear, but these I think are the first wingtips I've ever tried that didn't bother me at all. Mm -hmm. Like I don't need, they're snug. I like the Pixel Buds. The Bose, these wingtips too, they're very flimsy as opposed to yeah. the Beats, which it, you know, it's soft on the edge and it gets progressively more more firm as you get closer to the right. actual they bud itself. A really good job of that. They stay in your ears really well. I think probably in terms of like a sport earbud, mm -hmm. in terms of fit, these are the best you can get. We'd like to thank Beats for sending us two pairs of these headphones to try out. They didn't pay us anything. You got an honest review here. Right, honest review, but they did send us the headphones for free, so we do want to say thanks, as David yep. just said. We thought they were great. Yeah, I think they're, I'm, these, these are, are, are going to be my new headphones. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're going to be David's new headphones. Yeah. I'm going to keep my headphones, but I like over-ear headphones, so yeah. whatever. But these are going to be my new uh, earbuds for working out. If I ever start working out, I'm wearing these. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about these earbuds and if you're going to get a pair yourself. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We do a ton of earbuds, headphones, review videos. Just a lot like of other this. great videos. A lot of other great videos, videos yeah, too. You, you would love subscribing to our channel. It's one of my favorite things. Thanks for watching.